Hi, welcome back fellow artists and art fans. For those of you just stopping in for the first time, I'm Anne from Anne and Laurent's Art. And today we're going to be doing the uh, tutorial on the double foundation knot. This is the grid version. Um, if you're looking for the freehand version, there's a link in the description below. Um, so feel free to pause, speed up, um, slow down the video as you need to. And if you'd like to follow along, you'll want a piece of graph paper. Um, or if you've drawn out your own grid, you could do that too. And then a pen or a pencil, just something that you can draw with. And you can pause this video to go and get that if you need to. And if you're all set, let's go. We're going to start um, over here. And I'm going to do 15, 15 of these little squares or one and a half of the big squares, which basically is going to be about um, an inch and a half. Um, and then I'm gonna come over that same um, same amount, um, one and a half of those squares. Skip a full square to um, one and a half. Skip ten of these little squares, and then go to fifteen. Skip a square and go to 15. And then this one will be 15 up, one, two, three, four, five, over. And up, I made that one a little too long. That should only be 15 squares. I made it 20. <laughs> All right. Now from here, I'm gonna skip uh, 10 little squares down, so I'm halfway through this big square. And then I'm gonna go one and a half squares down. All right. Um, now there's two different ways that you can do the bottom. Um, uh, I'm gonna do this the same way I did in the freehand one, and I'll show the variation uh, next week. So what we're gonna do is find where this one ends here. And we're gonna come all the way across like that. So this one's gonna be uh, one, two, three, four, okay? And then I'm gonna skip 10 of these little squares or like a, a whole square. Um, and then this one is gonna come here. And this is gonna come all the way to here. And we're gonna leave that space um, between for this one. And again, like I said, I'll show you a variation, a variation uh, next week. So then I'm gonna come up. Oops. One and a half squares, okay? So now, um, so this is actually gonna come down um, so we're going to bring this down here like this, and then we'll have this one here. So we have those corners. Okay. So, um, so here we go. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and L. Okay. So what I'm going to do is A is going to come down to G. Okay, so here, and again, when I'm doing the graph paper, using graph paper, sometimes I'll just go ahead and just dot out the whole thing because sometimes the little blue lines of the graph paper can kind of make things look, uh, like make your angles go a little off if you're not using a ruler. All right, so, um, and then B is going to come down to I, right? Because we had A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, yeah. 
All right, so B to I, and I'm just gonna go ahead and, oops, see, it was a little off, so I gotta fix that one. So again, this is I coming up to B, all right? And then I'm going to have C is going to come down to F like this. And D is gonna come to H, okay? And then here's where those, uh, those loops are going to come in. So, um, uh, so we have J to K and again, um, I'm going to bring this down probably, uh, I'm going to want this to probably come about halfway. So I'm going to come up a little bit, maybe start at about like two down into this graph paper here. See how I like that. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. So it's going to be two down in the middle here. So L coming to E over here. Okay, so now I can block those in a little bit more. Always doing so this is going to be over. So the over under pattern always goes from, well, generally always goes from right to left. You can, you know, change that if you want to, but generally it goes clockwise. Um, so this is coming over, which means it's going to come under here. So I'm going to skip some space and it's going to come over this next one because it just went under. Okay. So now here, this is coming under. And then it would go over this section here. And then for this part, it's going to come under. And then it would be over. Okay. And then from here, this is coming under. And then it would be over. And then under. This one's coming over. And then this one will be under. Oops. Okay, so there's the skeleton of the doubled foundation knot. So now we're going to go ahead and um, uh, put in the, uh, the double sides of the ribbons or pathways. So I'm going to make this about two squares wide, two of those little squares wide. It's always weird when you do these into a curve. Um, and again, I start with the outside of each section first. Oops, <laughs> runaway eraser. So outside. And then down. Okay, so
So here is the double knot, this particular variation of the um, double foundation knot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my India ink artist pen and I'm just going to outline all of that. Okay, so there is the outlined version. So let's show the pathway. And what I'll do is I use blue in the freehand version. So um, if you remember from my cross hatching videos, blue in um, doing the line hatching is going to be horizontal lines. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this horizontally. Okay, so that's the um, blue cross hatched, uh, line hatched in, and so you can see it's just one continuous ribbon, and then it kind of, it's kind of a cool effect because it looks almost like the ribbon's been turned inside out from one side to the other. So now what I'm gonna do, and you don't have to do this, is I'm gonna go ahead and add a border. And we'll make the border three squares wide. Okay, so the last thing I just need to do is, or we need to do now, is just add in the black line hatching, which if you remember, um, so the line hatching for black is the horizontal and vertical in the same sections, like a cross of blue and red. And I will have a link in the description to the line hatching video in case you're uh, in case you missed that one and you're interested in learning how to do this line hatching, also known as cross hatching.
Okay, so there's the finished uh, doubled um, foundation knot um, for this variation. Again, I have a different variation I will show you next week on this doubled one. And then just sign off on it and you're all set. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you found it helpful, please make sure to hit that like button and leave me a comment in the comments section. Um, let me know what you found the most helpful. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get updates on future videos in this series. And again, I'm Anne from Anne and Lawrence Art. And until next time, happy adventuring in art. Bye.